This is ChatGPT Atlas, OpenAI's new AI-powered browser. And I want to give you my first impressions of it. So I'm going to Google Google quantum computer because there's some news articles about these big advances in quantum computing by Google. We can see we have Google hails breakthrough as quantum computer surpasses ability of supercomputers. And that is very bright, but okay. So we have this. Honestly, as somebody who is a software engineer, you would expect, oh, he knows about all these tech things, but really quantum computers are one of those things that I don't really know that much about. So let's ask ChatGPT some questions. Let's just say summarize. So there's a little button here to summarize. I'll just say summarize. I apologize if it's a little bit hard to read. Well, anyways, what we have is a little summary. Google announced a major quantum computing breakthrough, revealing that its new algorithm performed a task beyond the reach of classical supercomputers, calculating the structure of a molecule. The result published in Nature showed the quantum computer operating 13,000 times faster than a classical one. Experts called it a significant milestone demonstrating quantum advantage, though practical applications remain years away. A fully fault-tolerant quantum machine would need hundreds of thousands or millions of qubits. Google expects real world uses could emerge within five years and says quantum computing could eventually enhance AI models and impact fields like medicine and material science. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty cool. And I think this is a cool feature. When I'm browsing the internet, reading articles and things, I think this could actually be pretty useful.